my name's David, I'm your backup reporter on Route 66. We just crossed the Mississippi River, and we've now entered the state of Missouri. China Rocks Bridge, one mile long bridge, renowned for the kink in the middle. I'm headed down south to the land of the pines, I'm thumbing my way to North Carolina, I'm staring up the road and pray to God I see headlights. I made it down the coast in 17 hours, picking me a bouquet dogwood flowers, and I'm a hoping for Riley. I can see my baby tonight. So rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. Hey. Two hours. Okay. I think I would have fell into a ditch a couple of times. I love a bit of verge. So hang on a sec, Fran, before you do that up, can you just show us the mechanism that we use to check the distance between the road and the, sorry, the car and the markings in the car? So if you could just demonstrate that for us, that would be lovely. We wind down the window, but instead of wind, we just press the button. Do a quick check side to side. Make sure nothing's coming. And you stick your head out, and then you're looking at the yellow lines, and then you direct <laughs> from there. Okay. Like so. <laughs> a bit more, honey. To the left. Stop there. <laughs> <laughs> to the left. <laughs> Just like that. Rock me, mama, like the wind and the rain. Rock me, mama, like a southbound train. Running from the cold up in New England, I was born to be a fiddler in an old time string band. My baby plays a guitar, a big banjo now. All the North Country winters keep forgetting me, and I lost my money playing poker, so I had to up and leave. But I ain't gonna turn it back. Lula don't laugh no more. So rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Hi, we're on location at Red Oak 2, where we have met the most wonderful man this trip so far, Mr. Lowell Davis. And um, this whole town, he's basically picked up the buildings from elsewhere about 28 years ago. It was a cornfield, um, and these are all to ho all homes from his childhood. Um, there he goes now. <laughs> all, all homes from his childhood in neighbouring uh, neighbouring towns, um, and he, he's literally bought bought a farm next door, um, and just gradually started picking up buildings before they were dem um, demolished um, and reproduced, and, and basically made his own town here now. Hey. 